Give us a minute and we'll bring some more out. Well, thank you so much. If I pop these down while you I keep looking, right thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. No problem.
the sad thing about it is, is we've got a whole living room full of clothes. Do you really? Oh my goodness. Um, so are you looking at clothes? Yeah, I am. I, okay, yeah. Um, give us a minute and we'll bring some more out. Well, here. thank you so much. I'll put okay. pile them on if that's okay. <laughs> thank so you. Me and my aunt were looking at that. Um, like the, this yeah, the, yeah. I said that would be really cute with like a pair of skinny jeans and some booties and a, like a hat. I agree for fall, so it's like cute. perfect, yes. Is most of the new stuff on these two racks? Uh, yes. Cool. Oh. <laughs> I'll dig through. <laughs> yes, I have not got to the others yet. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. No kidding. <laughs> well, thank you for letting me and go through them. <laughs> well, we just hadn't took the time to bring them out. Yeah, I gotcha. And so we needed to get them out, but we just hadn't done it. Uh -huh. It's a lot of work. We had a lot of people stop by. Uh, not really. Oh, okay. Not yet, at least. Kind of had us worried. Oh yeah. Because we were like, is our signs not up? No, I saw your sign all the way down at Weigel, well, so it was you. easy to follow. <laughs> yeah. That makes me feel Good. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I get heavy. <laughs> I appreciate yeah, it. Thank no you problem. so much. In well, thank you. <laughs> Y'all weren't kidding. <laughs> Can I take that up and light down? Sure. Thank you so much. <laughs> That. You okay. got it? Thank Good you. Deal. You can feel free to start counting as okay. well if you want to. <laughs> Save you some time.
Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Good luck with your Say your fragrances. Um, yours? Oh, yours? Mine. <laughs> 50 cents a piece. Sure, All right, you guys, welcome to the hall. Get comfortable, get a cup of coffee, do what you gotta do. It's gonna be a little while. Um, I'm gonna go through the hard goods first of all so that anybody who's not interested in the clothing doesn't have to stick around for it if they don't want to. Um, but of course, if you are interested in clothing, I got some really interesting and fun bits. Some vintage, some not vintage, some really quirky stuff, some newer tags, all that good stuff. All right, let's start down here. So. This yard sale uh, was awesome, and I went back twice. Um, unfortunately, my footage did run out, as in, like, the battery in my camera actually ran out while I was shopping, so you didn't get to see me actually, like, do the deal at the end of it, if you like. But I would say, overall, between the two trips, uh, I probably spent about $95, which actually, when you look at all of the stuff I got, is not bad at all, especially because a couple of these pieces together are going to get me that money right back. And then we're just dealing with pure profit. So here we go. Uh, a couple of purses. They are both fossil purses. Um, this one, obviously, I guess was a dollar. And it's kind of like a woven style, just like shoulder purse in very nice condition. And then this one is a leather purse with kind of like a shoulder strap and a top handle. And obviously you see fossil down here as well. Both are in really nice shape. There's a couple of very light marks here and there, which I would expect. But the insides and stuff are really clean. And they have all the little extras like the key rings and stuff as well. Next, I got one, no, two pairs of shoes. I tell a lie. These I actually got on my second go round when I went back. Um, they are dance goes and they're like an ankle boot with a really cool kind of like cut out detail and a zippered back. I really like them, size 39. And then the only other pair of shoes that I got with these, uh, oh, by the way, the dance goes were $2. These were $2 as well. They're Sam Edelman, but they're a rose gold uh, glitter sneaker. And I just think that people are still into their rose gold. <laughs> so I decided to grab them uh, just in case. I figured we would give them a try. And Sam Edelman is a fairly good brand. All right, I got a few games as well. I actually just happened to be looking at the DVDs and stuff while they were deciding how much money I owed them. <laughs> and lo and behold, these were in there as well, just kind of like floating around. So um, I paid five dollars for the three of them that's the deal they gave me which i'm happy with microsoft flight simulator x and then we have uh, the gold edition and the uh, expansion pack as well all complete in here still have all the inserts and all of that good stuff as well i will most likely be selling these lotted up together and then we have one very random nintendo gamecube game super monkey ball 2 uh, this should go hopefully in the 30 to 40 dollar range and again it is complete with the insert and everything as well a right, couple of fragrances and um, these go together one of them is absolutely complete one of them has a little bit out of it as you can tell it's Lagerfeld aftershave and then just 
classic, like the classic fragrance, I guess. Like I said, I'm going to sell them lotted up. I'm going to have to put them in a collectibles uh, category on eBay because you have to sell fragrances and things as brand new now and obviously this one is not brand new and um, but that's fine I can do that and uh, the comps looks okay on these hopefully around 30 for the pair I paid 50 cents each this I also paid 50 cents for as well I have no idea if this has any worth the comps were kind of all over the place but for 50 cents and it's almost completely full uh, I decided to go ahead and take a chance and it is rare pearls don't know who buy I couldn't make that out yet but I'll do my research I got three little Yankee candles, most likely for myself. Um, cherry lemonade, they'll do me through like spring and summer, I suppose, just like to put on my stove and to make things smell nice, <laughs> as you do. And then we have one mug. It's this bicycle with the fall leaves and it's by Magenta, which tell me if I'm wrong, but I think that's what Ray Dunn used to be. Uh, this piece doesn't look like it's especially rare or anything, but it does look like I might be able to get close to sort of like 15 for it. And as you can see, I paid a dollar. All right, and the last hard good item is this Samsung Gear VR uh, headset. Not something that I would always pick up, but this one is brand new and factory sealed still. It does need a wipe down on the box, that's for sure. Um, and I paid $2 for this. It looks like I could easily get sort of 25 to 35 all right, and then on to the clothes. Where to begin? Okay, let's just start over here. So um, I got two bras. They're both the same size, both the same brand, Wacol, which is actually a rather, I hope I'm saying that right, but it's a rather expensive brand. Um, so obviously I'm going to be lotting those up together just to make it easier and more appealing for someone to buy. Um, I got one Columbia jacket. I don't pick up a lot of that kind of stuff, but this one is not like the fleece jacket. It's actually um, like a wintry jacket. And it's a really nice shape with all the white still being bright and stuff. Oh, and all of the clothing was pretty much like one to two dollars. Um, maybe the jackets were three, but all of the tops and things like that were absolutely a dollar. So bargain. Also, I'm going to take a moment to jump in and say that I absolutely recognize that I said that I was not picking up much clothing and that this was potentially a poor choice as I pursue that goal. <laughs> but it was so cheap and I know I'm going to make so much profit off of it that I just simply couldn't help myself. So here we are. We live, we learn. Um, I'm doing pretty good actually with listing and getting a lot of clothing sold right now. So I'll just work through this over time. Some pieces might end up being redonated if I don't get to them once in a while. But overall, I think, I, I think I've got this, you guys. But I don't know. Y'all need to keep me on the straight and narrow when it comes to clothing. What can I say? It's getting worse as the yard sale season goes on. Okay, uh, Vince Camuto, size large. Um, it's just a really nice kind of like turtleneck sweater. Actually kind of want to keep this for myself for fall. Not too sure that I won't. We have the North Face. This is a men's extra large. I think it may be seam sealed. I do think I looked it up. It's kind of like a um, like a rain jacket. So again, not the standard fleece, just like an actual jacket. One dollar again. Okay, then I have a bunch of these. Bear with me. They're going to pop up like throughout the whole haul so they're j crew they are older pieces as you can most likely tell from the label they're all extra large and they're this kind of mock turtleneck it's the same style throughout uh, so this one is cream it's just a mock turtleneck like really really heavy chunky sweater that's the kind of style that does well for me um, and then we have one in blue as well there's a tiny mark on this one that i'm gonna have to try and get out all right let's hop over here so we have a torrid piece size two that is plus size so like a 2x um, a waffle knit cardigan button up top obviously needs a lint roll one dollar though can't go wrong we have another torrid size to um a lace-up neckline that needs to be fiddled with so that it looks right again and it has like an eagle design on it cabbie newer tag cabbie um open sort of waterfall front cardigan another torrid piece actually not sure i should have grabbed this double zero that's like a medium i think in torrid and torrid really is known for being a plus size brand so these kind of sizes don't always sell very well for me um but it kind of slipped in so here we are but it's like an off the shoulder kind of like peasant style top another torrid piece size two this one is a lightweight sweater with a fox wearing glasses how can you go wrong Next one is a very long tunic length hoodie kind of like sweatshirt and it is Pure Jill by J Jill. We have an Eileen Fisher top extra large. I do believe that this is linen as well. It has that very kind of like contemporary collarless top. This is Neff. I don't know that this is like a good brand to pick up, but I just thought the graphics on it were fun and this kind of quirky stuff can sell really well for me. Um, obviously, it's Marvin the Martian, but in a very random way. I, I don't know, but <laughs> I'm going to try it, I guess. And um, we have a few vintage bathing suits floating in here as well. I've said before, I love selling vintage bathing suits, especially when they have like high cuts and things like that. This one is neon pink. I don't know if it's coming across right in the video, but it's really, really cool looking and um, probably kind of like 80s, 90s. All right, next we have Soft Surrounding size large, it's a very lightweight um, knit cardigan with kind of like a 
don't know, it's not really paisley, like just like an ethnic type print all over it. I'll have to think of better keywords than that, but very, very nice gray and black. We have a vintage peanuts t-shirt, which I think is really fun. It's all of them, I guess, kind of like on potentially 4th of July. That's what I'm feeling here. Really, really cute. I think somebody's going to really like that. Love my vintage pieces. And um, we have another torrid piece. This is a one size piece, but it's like a poncho sweater with tassels down here as well in really nice shape. Again, $1. We have another vintage bathing suit. Tell me that this design is not so fun. <laughs> so it's like an underwater scene, really, really colorful. And then it has kind of like the modesty panel at the bottom as well. It goes all the way to the back with the print. I just thought this was really, really fun. Probably again, kind of like 80s, maybe even 70s. I'm not too sure, just judging on the label inside. And another torrid piece, size two. This thing is so incredibly soft and it has like the the classic torrid combination of flowers and skulls that I feel like I find everywhere and these pieces always do really well and it's a very wide neck as well. All right, let's get this pile done, shall we? So White House Black Market, size 12, don't pick it all up. Kind of slipped in there, I'm not going to lie, uh, but it's very classic. I think it'll do fine. Pretty excited about this piece. Vintage Old Navy cut off uh, overalls, bib overalls. These kind of things do so well for me. Um, they do look like they've been cut off like by somebody, not from the store, but I don't think that that's going to matter at all. I may go in and just distress them a little more. I'm not too sure. It depends how much time I want to put into it, really. But for a dollar, again, can't go wrong. Easily 25 bucks or so. A pair of Disney store pajamas in adult extra large Christmas plaid Mickey Mouse all the good stuff so fa la la and obviously it is the set of them together uh this piece is another one that kind of snuck in for me i suppose but it's a size one xl so you know that might help i've actually got this piece i think listed somewhere or i've sold it so i can reuse that listing and just change the photographs and some of the information but it's like it's umji it's kind of boho um wildflowers botanical all of those kind of keywords i have two women's carhartt hoodies I don't know, but they're both in really good shape, so I think they'll do fine. I have one Simply Southern t-shirt. I don't pick these up all the time. This is an XXL, though, and it is brand new with the tags. And the theming on this one is Florida, if you can't tell. <laughs> Picked up another MG piece. This one's a medium, but it is brand new with the tags, which is why I grabbed it. Again, just kind of like a print block style tunicky floaty tank blouse thing another vintage bathing suit again super high cut look at the high cut i love it i think it's so fun um halter neck and then it has all the amazing ruching and like the really really bright floral print really cool vintage sweatshirt definitely an older piece i'm gonna go ahead and say like 90s um and it just has this kind of like bison almost like a Native American look to it, though those are not keywords that I'm going to be utilizing for this listing because you do have to be very careful with them. But there'll be plenty more that I can play with and I do think that this is a really, really cool piece. I have one Chico's piece size too, just a very long, not quite a duster length, but like, you know, below the hip or whatever, um, metallic cardigan. This piece, it reminded me of like, you know, like poodle skirts and stuff like that. <laughs> That's totally what I had in my mind. Again, I think it just kind of ended up in the pile. I'm not sure if I would have grabbed it if I had gone back through my stuff, but at this point for a dollar, it's totally fine. Um, it's just very, very loud. And maybe that will sell it. I may eat my words and this may do really well. World Market, this does quite well for me. Really, really fluffy, but really, really got me was the print all of the cool tassels and the really like oversized kind of like knit work on it um very kind of like southwestern style feel to it and then we have just a standard american eagle uh, denim jean jacket for an extra large all right last pile are you still with me <laughs> Here we go. Uh, Vans with the Peanuts collaboration, extra large. This is the graphic on it. Just a long sleeve black and white uh, top t-shirt, whatever. Gap men's extra large. Uh, kind of like Nordic, Fair Isle, Snowflake sweater. And I have a feeling this has a really nice fabric content. 100% lamb's wool. So again, can't go wrong. You would tags a dollar. Tommy Bahama, another one that I'm not sure I should have picked up, uh, extra large, but it is a silk blend. However, it is plain black. Uh, it does have kind of like a slinky knit feel to it. And it does also have like long sleeves with kind of like, it's almost like a dolman sleeve to it. So it may still do okay because of the size and the fabric content and the style of it. But really, when it comes to Tommy Bahama, for the most part, I tend to just try and pick up the loud prints at this point vintage tommy hilfiger fleece it's not it's not like super spell out or anything like that as you can see it's like black and sort of army green but it does have you know the stuff on the outside and it does have the patch on the upper arm and as you can see the colorway or the color blocking up on the collar and kind of a cool detail on the zip as well 
have a men's Carhartt, kind of like a denim button-up shirt. I don't think I can see the size on there. I'll just have to measure it and figure it out. Oh, here comes another one of these J. Crew Extra Large. This one's like a forest green, kind of like mock turtleneck sweater. Peter Millar, Extra Large men's uh, purple polo shirt. I think this is golfing wear. Tell me if I'm wrong, but that brand can do quite nicely. Men's Ralph Lauren. I don't really pick up like the Lauren Ralph Lauren or polo that much anymore, but this, sometimes I'll pick this up and it is an extra large. I think it may be a tall as well. I'm not sure, uh, but just a denim button up shirt. Very, very classic. Another one of these J. Crew <laughs> sweaters. Uh, Eddie Bauer, I really like this one. So it's a lamb's wool blend and it's just a really, really cool cardigan. Again, Nordic, Fair Isle, cozy. Like this is so like, you know, sat by the fire at a cabin in the woods going skiing all that kind of stuff like all of these vibes i really love this definitely going to list it for around 40 or so and then the last few things are three of the same just in different colorways so they're all ll bean women's extra large they're a wool blend i have one in purple one in pink and one in blue i'm definitely going to lot them up together and sell them that way oh okay if you're still with me thank you <laughs> and if you enjoyed shopping at this yard sale with me uh don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you want to come back with me to more yard sales and garage sales and find awesome things to flip then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you can come back and hang out some more and don't forget to let me know down in the comments as well what you would have picked up out of all of these items and what you would have left behind all right you guys i will catch you in the next one bye